<laughs> I think Italy was good. Oh, we obviously got to the final and lost, but uh, we had a good time out there, didn't we? Three, three weeks, I think it was. Good set of lads, a lot of lads which are here now, so it was good. Hello, I'm Owen Farrell. I'm going to take you into the England Junior World Cup camp. How is it being in the back of the bus, boys? Big seat. Yeah, it's good, mate. Nice leg room. Big seat for big Needs it. Look at the size of them bad boys. Coming through together does does help, I guess. Uh, I guess I guess you kind of end up pushing each other along, I guess. Um, you, knowing knowing these lads, knowing um, knowing them when they do go back to the clubs and seeing seeing everybody doing so well, I guess I guess pushes you on to do well at the same time. Mako actually looks older there than he is now. We finished now, uh, we just walked it's like an hour from the station. Got a lovely view of the palace behind us. I think I think it makes it um, pretty special that you know you potentially only get one shot as a squad and as a team with your teammates to try and obviously win a junior world cup. I think um, the thing with that team was we played 16s together, 18s together and 20s and probably 20s is the last time um, that you're gonna be together as a whole squad I suppose before you want to come play like you know through Premiership Club. It's a it's a taste of international rugby. Um, which which you wouldn't which you wouldn't get unless you came and, you know straight into here. It's, it's the lads that are the best best at your age group and, and when you when you're that age, especially 16s and 18s, you don't you don't get to play against against uh, older lots. So you're playing against the best of the best of, of people that's your age. So I guess it's I guess it's brilliant.